Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about SoFi Technologies, NEO stock, as well as Tesla stock. In this video, we will be analyzing four articles, to where the first one is titled, Three Reasons Why You Should Buy SoFi Stock Before It Turns Profitable. After that, we'll move on and talk about NEO stock. NEO stock has the potential to surge 135% over the next 12 months months and this is going to be during the second half of 2023 so we'll be going over and analyzing their newest price targets. After that we'll discuss Tesla stock and how Elon Musk has a 10 trillion dollar master plan to eliminate fossil fuels and then we'll dive into an article regarding why Tesla remains a buying opportunity for investors and how their quarter one estimates are likely to come in very positively which should move their TSLA share price even higher. So for more videos just like this one go and annihilate that like button subscribe if you are new comment down below your thoughts don't forget to become a member of this channel to support me personally and without further ado let's jump right into today's stories by now you know that SoFi essentially operates as a digital bank giving their consumers access to a plethora of financial services and financial products all from an app on their phone when we consider the current negative macroeconomic outlook, the timing might be odd for some investors to say that right now is a good time to buy SoFi technologies. But despite this, I think SoFi has a lot of positive aspects for this overall company, and as they continuously diversify their overall financial services and they pursue profitability, the stock technically can be looked at as an undervalued company that is oversold. But this will depend on how you view this company. If you view this company as a technology company, company, then yes, technically it is undervalued. But if you view this company more as a banking financial institution, then this company is either fairly valued or overvalued. So it does depend on which accounting metrics you use, which will determine if you think this company is undervalued or overvalued. But as of right now, the author of this article believes this company is a screaming buying opportunity because he believes the share price is way too low. SoFi Technologies is taking more of a long-term approach, meaning that we as investors also need to take a long-term approach when investing in into this company. SoFi Technologies has continuously improved on their overall portfolio of products and services, their overall streams of revenue, as well as their product offerings which they give their consumers. This is going to be key to not only scaling their overall revenues, which will lead to higher profits, but also scaling their overall customer base, especially as they approach profitability. The closer this company gets to profitability, the higher the share price can go. And then after they achieve profitability, the stock is set to absolutely skyrocket. The company right now has around $1.4 billion worth of cash or short-term cash equivalents, such as liquid investments, and they are cash flow positive according to this article. The company has free capital, they are not at risk of going out of business, they aren't at risk of having a bank run, and considering their recent merger and acquisition activity, this company is primed for future growth. SoFi stock is in a great position right now to not only compete with traditional banks, but also overtake these banks in the long term. SoFi offers relatively low fees, they have very competitive rates, they have a simple user-friendly app, and their digitalization is an attractive option for younger investors who will be high earners in the future. Even a Morgan Stanley research paper came out saying that millennials are the primary drivers of net new loan demand. And for companies who can target millennials as well as Gen Z, this is going to be a very profitable company and SoFi is doing just that. Gen Z right now is entering the sweet spot between ages of 25 to 40 next, meaning that as millennials and Gen Z scale, so will SoFi Technologies. With 80% of smartphone carrying Gen Z individuals utilizing mobile banking, this is going to be phenomenal news for companies like SoFi Technologies. SoFi has a clear competitive edge compared to traditional banks, and they currently cater toward young high earners who are more tech savvy, such as millennials. On top of this, they specifically target young high earners who are well educated, who have high credit scores, meaning that these young high earners are not at risk of defaulting on their loans even if a recession is to occur. Furthermore, SoFi Technologies has phenomenal risk management policies in place to where they utilize a hedging strategy to protect themselves and their assets from rate increases, as well as overall bank runs, making this company very fundamentally solid. 
Overall, as SoFi continues to expand their overall product offerings, it's going to be essential that investors get into this company now before they become profitable and truly start to scale. Right now, profitability is currently pegged by quarter four in 2023, and beyond that point, we could see the share price absolutely skyrocket. So you might as well make a small investment or take a small position in this company right now. The author says that SoFi Technologies is a rapidly growing fintech company with a solid banking license, diversified financial services, and a strong potential for profitability. And I 100% agree with him as long as you are a long-term investor and you have that long-term growth prospect in your mind. Only if you are a long-term investor should you consider adding SoFi Technologies to your portfolio or at minimum putting it on a watch list. Again, I don't advocate more than a 5% allocation to any singular risky growth company, including SoFi Technologies, which is why I currently only have an allocation of 4% to this company, but I am excited about what this company could make of itself in the future. Now let's move on and talk about Neo stock, pertaining to why their price prediction and price targets are so high, which could mean that the share price could surge by 135% or more. If you're not familiar with this company, Neo, ticker symbol NIO, is a Chinese EV maker over in China. Currently, right now, many companies over in the electric vehicle sector, such as Neo, are expecting experiencing significant decreases in overall valuation. This would go for companies such as Rivian, Fisker, Lucid, Li Auto, Xpeng, BYD, Tesla, and many others. Right now, the industry is really under high pressure and the macroeconomic environment is not positioned well to have growth stocks grow. However, NEO is continuously expanding their overall manufacturing capabilities, they are addressing supply chain difficulties, and they are releasing fresh new vehicle models. This is why a Mizuho analyst believes there is tremendous upside potential for NEO stock if you are an aggressive investor. He gives this company a buy rating and he set a price target of $25, which would represent a 137% upside potential over the next 12 months, considering that the shares currently trade for around $9. The reason this analyst thinks this is that during the second half of 2023, once the quarter three results come in from that point on, we can see that this company is set to grow their overall revenues, lower their overall net losses, and increase their overall production production and sales capacity by a very wide margin. Once this happens, I think the NEO share price will increase by a substantial margin and that's why this analyst believes the company could surge over 135% once this takes place. There are also other professionals and experts who believe that NEO stock could surge up to $50 per share in the coming years. Now, despite management's goal of delivering 250,000 electric vehicles for the year, based on current projections, it looks like they're going to deliver between 160,000 and 200,000, which is going to leave a bad taste in investors' mouths. However, like I said, after the second half of 2023, this company is primed for future growth due to their delivery capacity absolutely skyrocketing. This will also allow the company to take advantage of economies of scale, which is essentially when you're making a product, there is a point that you make so many of them that they actually become cheaper to produce the more that you produce, which is phenomenal. This is another reason why NEO is set to lower their overall net losses and their revenues are supposed to dramatically increase. We've already seen NEO's revenue jump from $2.5 billion to $7.1 billion, and believe me, right now is just the start. Now, there is strict competition and there is risk here. For instance, NEO is a foreign electric vehicle company, meaning you're going to have to invest into ADR shares, and NEO faces strict competition from BYD, Li Auto, as well as Tesla over in China. With that being said, professionals still believe this company is undervalued right now and the future looks so bright for this company, it makes sense to make a small position. Right now, I only have around 2-3% to of my portfolio allocated to NEO because again, Tesla is my number one EV stock in my portfolio, even though arguably, NEO is a better deal based off of accounting ratios than Tesla is, even though I think Tesla has a longer growth trajectory due to the other segments that diversify Tesla from other EV makers. Speaking of Tesla, let's jump over and talk about them. Elon Musk has a master plan that is going to propel Tesla as the number one and potentially become the most valuable company in the entire world. 
Tesla, just referring to their electric vehicle segment, is a leading company that continues to innovate, modernize, and optimize their overall technology. But again, their number one competitive advantage is not necessarily their technology, even though I think it's phenomenal, but rather it's their ability to mass produce vehicles. And clearly they also have extreme brand awareness, which is phenomenal. Tesla has a great growth opportunity and they can continuously scale their overall revenues and optimize profitability considering that Tesla has the best vehicle margins in the entire EV space. And this is why their share price is going to go higher over the long term. Tesla is literally my number one EV pick as of right now and I think this company is set on a phenomenal growth trajectory even though I do think they are overvalued I think they can grow into their overall valuation. Technically speaking, right now is an excellent buying opportunity if you are a future investor. If you are looking forward to the future, then right now may be the best time to buy Tesla in the short term. But again, just nibble at it. We've seen major volatility to where the stock price dropped as low as close to $100. But honestly, if your average cost is between $160 and $140, that is a pretty good buy zone. Over the coming months, we could see more volatility in the macroeconomic stock market, meaning that Tesla shares will also go up and down pretty radically. But this does not change my view, Tesla is still a great long-term investment. Why I really like Tesla, especially even over the short term, is that their quarter one results are going to be phenomenal in my opinion. Tesla, according to their sales numbers and what professionals are saying right now, currently estimate that their consensus estimate for revenues in quarter one will be around $23.46 billion. Other analysts believe this company is going to bring in closer to $25 billion for quarter one, but it gets even better. Some believe that they could bring in over $25 billion in quarter one, thus improving their overall earnings per share, sending these shares absolutely skyrocketing after their quarter one results. But this is a double-edged sword, because if this doesn't work out in Tesla's favor, we will see the share price drop at least temporarily. Looking ahead to next year, in quarter one, their revenues could reach between 30 to $35 billion, representing a substantial 30% revenue growth rate, which is absolutely amazing. As Tesla continues to scale their overall deliveries, sales, and revenues, this is going to move their profitability very high, especially considering they have the most competitive margins in the industry. Essentially, Tesla will just leave their competition in the dust, meaning that this is one of the best companies to buy in the whole market right now. Tesla has the potential to become an extremely highly profitable company and the number one company in the entire world, according to their market cap. This makes Tesla a strong buying opportunity right now, and this author says he's going to buy Tesla for around $150 if it drops that low or anything below $150. He believes that over the next few months or coming weeks, the company could experience a lot of downside or headwinds in the overall market, which will move the share price lower. But very intelligent investors should use this as a time to dollar cost average down their average cost basis, making the future momentum of this company more profitable for them. Now clearly I am bullish and the author is bullish on Tesla, but I do want to make you aware of risks to consider. The macroeconomic environment is still not stabilized. There is a slowdown in overall demand for purchasing electric vehicles. There is a huge amount of increased competition in this overall electric vehicle space. There are supply chain issues which are taking place and decreased growth. On top of that, there is also issues regarding regulatory issues and policies from foreign governments that could negatively impact Tesla's share price and their overall delivery numbers. So someone should consider all of these factors before taking an investment into Tesla, but overall, I am extremely bullish. So if you loved this very positive news update on SoFi Technologies, Neostock, and Tesla, go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below about which of these companies you personally hold. Don't forget to go and become a member of this channel to support me so I can continuously make videos just like this one for you. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.